Exactly. So, wow. yeah. <laughs> First thing we're going to look at, as we said, obviously with the shaft lean, you can see here now much better position. Before we said that was about a 17 degree forward lean. If I put a measure on here now and get a rough guide, get the line in the right spot. There we go, in up there. That's kind of on the golf, <coughs> like so. So that's straight up. You've now got five degrees, give or take. Just fine. So you've, yeah. you've decreased that by almost, well, 75%. Okay, big change there. Okay, you've got yourself in a much more neutral, but I think just in general, you just look more relaxed over the golf ball. Yeah. From there now, you have the ability to swing that club up and round your body. Whereas this one, the club's going to want to come down this angle. You've then got to try to make an adjustment in your golf swing. Now, what happens when people play golf, and I've got nothing against people who are self-taught. I mean, Bubba Watson is self-taught. But what people have when they become that player of golf is they will hit a ceiling and they'll find ways to get around. They kind of, their swing evolves based on how they kind of start. So if you start off in that position there, your first few shots you play off are very low and toppy and then you sort of did some adjustments and sort of found some kind of strike and you got round and you've now sort of hit your peak at maybe 107, 106, whatever it may be. We've got to try and sort of go through that ceiling to now somewhere in the 90s, okay? And there's no reason why, if you can set it this way, a bit of tweak with the short game and the putting game and some of the longer clubs, you could shoot in the 90s easily yeah. without doing really a lot. Yeah. Okay. Just understanding some sort of physics with the golf club and the swing. And we saw there with how much energy you were using to get the same distance mm. and actually in some cases going beyond mm. because the efficiency of your golf swing. So if we think of that in terms of full 18 holes, mm. if we're honest, a lot of people say just wear and tear in general. If you're hitting a golf ball now with a lot of effort and a lot of energy being used and the ball not going very far, by hole 12, 13, 14, we're knackered. Knackered. Yeah. yeah. So if you if you use less energy per shot, yeah. if we say you've got you know, an egg timer worth of energy yeah. and every shot you play a shot, a little bit goes out of that. Yeah. If you use a lot of that in the first front nine, by the back nine, you're, just, you're running on fumes. Yeah. So the swings are going to get worse. Yeah. Your shots are going to get more and more affected. Mm. Physically and mentally, you're going to be in a, more of a downer. Mm. And then it just puts a knock-on effect. Mm. So we can get to hole 12, 13, thinking, oh, hang on, I feel... Yeah. by just using a more efficient movement okay yeah. so as you swing this golf club back now it wasn't going back quite as far as you want to okay yeah. but with a golf swing going back that far compared to a golf swing going back that far yeah. you actually had more distance from there than you did from there so if we allow that club in time to go here and i think my goal to you would be to get the club eventually over your head i wouldn't expect it to go here no. because that's just no. beyond the realms of realism to start yeah. with okay Absolutely. but if we can get to we'll say a different kind if we can get towards that kind of blue line there mm -hmm. i think there's a few tweaks we can do obviously more so but for me when people go away from a lesson i want them to go with one clear thought i will send this video through to you anyway oh, but go away with one clear thought that you're going to stand more neutrally to the golf yeah. ball with a shaft yeah. and you're going to rotate your body better yeah. that's it so when you're on the golf course next time you get that setup which i think you see with the setup you can do that quite easily yeah. static changes can happen like that if i said you just stood there now put your left foot back you could do that without you having to think, oh, my left? You just you go, boop, the left, and go back, or whatever it may be. So the static change is always an easier move to make. The swing change takes a little bit of practice. Hence why I said if we can do some of those work movements at home, like brushing your teeth, just stand there rotating around that fixed right foot and just get that hip rotated so when you finish the shot, okay, we're not so far leaning forward like that. Yeah. That's kind of, these two movements here now, yeah. apart from the length of the swing, don't look that dissimilar. No, they don't. However, at setup, yeah. okay, they look very different. <laughs> okay, yeah. so your static change is going to be is like almost done and dusted. You sort of, yeah, that's done. Tick the box. On to the next thing. Okay, which will be some other things obviously next time if we go through that. Yeah, yeah. Swing wise, it's practice. Okay, so what I generally say to most guys, if you sort of okay, depending on you playing twice a week, if you could play twice a week, have a couple of sessions on the range once or twice or in here or whatever, or just general some things at home, just stand and with one arm swing with that right arm. Just almost hitting backhand shots with a tennis racket kind of thing. That kind of sensation, very relaxed, very soft grip, just loose and allowing the body to function. Then we can progress on to the next stage, the next stage, the next stage. And certainly for me, what I do with a lot of my lessons, just going off the golf course now, mm. I do a lot of my lessons at all levels, from the single figure handicapper, sort of one, two, three for handicapper, to the complete beginners at the golf course. Because that's where you learn and that's where you are measured. Yeah. There's no point being Tiger Woods in here no, no. and then being Tigger off winning the poo out there. Just, you've got to be good out there. That's where, when you play golf, you can't go, what do you have Dave boys? Oh, 125. But the range boys, I oh, was in the 250. Yeah. Yeah. Don't care. No, the money's on the bet, on the score, on the golf course, isn't it? Okay, so, so there's a few tweaks we can do there, but hopefully you can see just with a quite a quick yeah. change there, 
I mean, your reaction after every shot was like, is it that easy? Yeah. And I think we always hear that phrase when guys go, when I swing it softer, it goes further. Mm. You're not swinging it softer. Because if you swing a golf club slower, the ball gets less energy, it goes less distance. But if you swing a club more efficiently, the club head speed maintained, but the energy you're consuming to do that is less. So the feeling is, oh, I swung that one really soft. Well, the club head speed was that quick, but you just put less effort into it. You've got more efficiency out of your golf swing. Mm-hmm. So rather than putting all your body weight into it and then eat nowhere, you put less body weight into it and, oh, the ball's gone miles. Make sense? It does. Excellent. It does. Good stuff in film.